This tutorial will go over both the Mixer and Effects tabs. I'll be looking at adding effects to channels and how the audio routing works. I'll also demonstrate how to use your host's own effects and save your routings. In the Effects tab, there are 16 channels, followed by two sends. Channels are the third and final effect pipelines before leaving Endrummer. Before reaching the channels, you can place the CPU hungry effects like reverbs onto the sense, where you can send as much or as little of the original signal as you want. I'll select channel 2 and place M transient into the pipeline. I'll select channel 3 and place M wave shaper. Lastly, I'll select send 1 and place M reverb. You can choose the channel the audio goes to after the sense. I don't want the reverberated signal affected further, so I'll send it to channel 4, which I know has no effect on it. Now, I'll turn the dry wet to 100%, since I can choose the amount of signal copy to the send from the sliders in the mixer tab. In the mixer tab, we find the instruments, each with solo, mute, volume, pan, and pitch controls. Here, you can select which channel each instrument will go to. Next to the channel selector, we have the slider controls for the sends. I'll send quite generous amounts of the snare and hi-hat to M Reverb on Send 1. For the bass drum, I'll choose Channel 2, so the signal goes to M Transient. For the snare, I'll choose Channel 3, so the signal goes to M Wave Shaper. So now, I can edit the effects. I'll add about 12 decibels of attack to M Transient, which is affecting the bass drum on Channel 2. I'll draw a curve in M Wave Shaper on channel 3 to distort the snare. If I open Logic's mixer window, you'll be able to see how the audio has been distributed. The unaffected drums come through to Instrument 1. The bass drum affected by M Transients through to Auxiliary 1. The snare drum affected by M Wave Shaper through to Auxiliary 2 and lastly the reverberated signal from Send 1 through to Auxiliary 3. Now that the signal has been distributed in the host, we can add the host's own effects or third-party plugins. I'm using M Equalizer to cut out the lows and mids from the reverberated signal on Auxiliary 3. What if you want to save your routings? Maybe you want to change your drum set, or keep the routings as a template. In the drum set editor tab, you can go to the advanced button, and choose save output channels. This will save your routings for you. Now I can test it by choosing a different drum set and rhythm, and loading the routing I've just saved. As you can see, the channel routings are the same as before. Don't forget, both the mixer and effects tabs have master peak meters at the bottom, so you can keep track of your levels each step of the way. Thanks for watching. Join me in the next M Drummer tutorial, where I'll be going over input and output MIDI filters.